The residence behind me at 3901 Hepburn Avenue, nestled in the heart of Los Angeles, California, gives new significance to the term, there is no place like home. I'm Michael Real, and this is realurbannews.com. Join us for an exclusive look at this wonderful property, but more importantly, meet the two families that call this place home. Just kind of like smile. <laughs> <laughs> On three, just say Hepburn. What about the memories of the house? A lot of fun memories being here. He has <laughs> loved living here. It was ideal. I got all my sisters with me. We are family. Get up, everybody. Everybody's loving this home. I'm telling you. You know, when my long lasted sister. Huh? My long lasted sister. Yes. Did she have the same bedroom? to do. Yes. Okay, yes. she was three and yes. moved in when, and I was, I was three yeah. when they built the house. Funny. Yeah. I remember. Every, all your furniture, it's so convenient. This is one of the things everybody always talked about when they came into this house is the width of the staircase because it really lets you take furniture upstairs so easily. No, no, no. That's her mother decided to run the story. And so he had his own. You're great. Oh, yeah. This one. This is the daughter of the daughter of the house. Oh, wow. She is her daughter. That's so cool. That's pretty cool. And she's down the street from my house. Yeah. She's down the street from my house. I don't remember any of, of it before. You don't remember this? I don't remember any of it before. You probably do, Russ, but I don't. Yes, I remember these lights above the uh, yeah. windows. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, this yes. was this was what they called a men's closet. Yeah. And it was halfway here, and oh, there were drawers okay. at the bottom, okay. and a, a man could hang his suits and here. That's they because called the men's they cut that one yeah. off. Open here, that's where I'll wrap it. I love it. And I'll so it. This is such a good idea. This is such a good idea. Love it. Time has gone. Yeah. There's absolutely no years that's that's passed true. since I was standing here looking out that window and the, the houses and streets, except for maybe the trees are bigger, it looks identical. So there's proof right there to me. That's true. That has to be something special. Was it your brother's job to get out there and brush the. No. Who used to make my son do that? They've gone oh, back to it. They're coming oh, back. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those. Yeah, okay. okay. A little while. Sure. Yeah, we'll give you, we'll give you, we'll give you nice. It'll be really nice treats. Sheila. Great afternoon. These are some of my neighbors. Oh, uh, her mother. Her mother. That's where I bought the house from. Oh, oh, she she taught us to the school. Well, I moved in. She lives in the corner of the house. This is what they made. She lives in the corner of the house. Neighbors. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Both of them walk. This is very nice. We see each other walking. And on both sides is this. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, so that's lovely. This is very strong. I never get out of there. I couldn't climb out of there. I wanted to go to that door, so <laughs> that door was there 40 some years. This is a great community. It, it's an amazing community with an amazing history. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, just growing and developing every, every year, every decade. What was it like for you as a realtor to have these uh, families in the house and reminiscing and remembering, going back down memory lane? What was that like for you? Well, you know, um, when people buy a house, you'll hear many of them say, 
I walked in and I knew it was my house. It felt like my house. And that feeling of the energy of a house really does exist. And so when you have the benefit of knowing the family that lived there that left the energy in the house and they return, you know, it just infuses the environment with kind of an electricity. And so it's nice to do it just before the open house because it was all left behind. And people walk in and they're all, ah, woo! And you know, I don't know if my buyer walked in, but if they walked in, they felt good, mm -hmm. the vibe was great, and I could tell them about the people that lived here, and sure. that's what gives the house its personality. So. What a wonderful day this was. Absolutely. And I'm so impressed with all the uh, prospective buyers. Mm -hmm. But you, you were talking about the importance of community. Absolutely. And we saw yeah, that today ahead. with the families and you all going down memory lane and remembering and what was that like? We had so much in common. It was like when I found out she was three when she moved in and that when she moved in the house is what we left. So it's my memories too. And I was three when my parents built the house and we moved in. So we just shared so much inside. And we both said whoever moves in has to sit into the family. The, the Farmer Goldman family, uh -huh. and they have to have a three-year-old too. They <laughs> have a three-year-old. Wow, it must be something because this this neighborhood is is also uh, known for its celebrity. Yeah. Talk about the the, cele the celebrities uh, who live in the community. Other than us. Other than you all. Oh, well, point to that house. <laughs> Ray Charles moved. This is his first home that he uh -huh. moved into, and they actually filmed Coming Down Hepburn mm -hmm. in the movie Ray. Sure. Yeah. Um, Ella Fitzgerald lived down the street. Mm -hmm. There was Reverend Mays, uh, Reverend Chambers lived in the neighborhood. Um, on Welland, the next street, Mayor Bradley and his family lived there, and their daughter was here today. What did it say when you, when you think about it? What did it say about your parents, and their commitment to community? What did it say to you? They, you know what, they, they, we lived on 80th and Central at the time. It was a fourplex. My dad stopped his office was next door, and we lived upstairs. And this was probably one of the last lots in the neighborhood, and they purposely chose this neighborhood for its conveniences, its location, the community, the neighborhood, the shopping, probably the neighbors. And it was easy for your mom being a PTA. Yeah, I mean, it was just like, you know, like I said before, it was probably the best memories and best times of my life. And I think living here and growing up in the neighborhood, which was pretty well racially you know, integrated at the time, um, it, it I'm blessed for being here because I grew up being able to, you know, get along with everybody and, and see the world the way it is and not one way or the other. Sure. It's a very unusual neighborhood and community. I love the hallway. Here's what I'm going to say. Please remove your shoes. Come on. Yeah, take your shoes off. The length of that. It used to be blue. It used to, yeah. Remember and, the blue? And, and yeah, and then we took the blue off and we um, sanded it down. Oh, on the light. That's why it has a Sorry. Oh. It used to be Elaine. No, blue. blue. This light has been so oh, oh my god, it's like working. Look at this. Yeah, it was it's so awesome. I love this. We took the blue off and left it all natural blue. And now they changed it. Oh, Elaine. Like, oh, like, you had to scrape all of this down? Huh? You scraped all of this down to the oh, natural yeah, wood? Yeah, to the natural wood. Because we knew when we moved in here. Shiny. It took us, so we took, oh, it took us forever. Yeah. Oh, nice. how beautiful. That would have been really nice. pretty. What is this for? Were they painted it's over it again? No, no, no. We're on room by room. <laughs> We had five kids. Okay. Two, my sister and I shared that room. My two brothers shared this room. Uh -huh. And the oldest daughter had her own room. Oh. When I was 61. She's 13 years older than I am. Mm -hmm. Or she's 66, rather. She's, she's 18 years older than I am. And to have both of us, you know, she was three when they moved in. I was three when we moved in. And, and just some of the similarities are just amazing. It was just are you really amazed at how your mom was able to hold the family, the family together? as a school teacher and maintain this home and maintain your place in the community, were you amazed by that? That's why she's my hero. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, my, we, we bought it in early, uh, in 69, early for 69, and then my dad died December 69. So he was not in this house with us for a long period of time at all. And for her on a teacher's salary to be able to maintain the home 
with five kids. Um, it's just amazing. You had a good time today? Wonderful time. I'm so glad Teresa called. Uh -huh. Just felt good. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And if I win the lottery, I'll buy it back. <laughs> <laughs> it, it felt like home today. It did. It really did. Especially seeing the neighbors come in. And then Sheila, who we bought it from, her mother. It's just like old home time. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you.